the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace and peace of the Lord be with you all. Good morning, everybody. Today we honor the memory of Saint uh, Juan Diego. Uh, he lived uh, in the early part of the 16th century. Uh, he was a native convert uh, uh, from a, a village just outside of Mexico City. Uh, the Blessed Mother uh, appeared to him four times, and uh, she is later to be known as Our Lady of Guadalupe. And so uh, he lived a holy life, and many people came to see the image that was of the Blessed Mother uh, that was imprinted on his cloak. Let us call to mind our sins, seeking the Lord's mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by means of St. Juan Diego showed the love of the most holy Virgin Mary for your people, grant through his intercession that by following the counsels our mother gave at Guadalupe, we may be ever constant in fulfilling your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, your God, who grasp your right hand it is I who say to you, fear not, I will help you. Fear not, O worm Jacob, O maggot Israel, I will help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. I will make of you a threshing sledge, sharp, new, and double-edged, to thresh the mountains and crush them, to make the hills like shaft. When you winnow them, the wind will carry them off, and the storm will scatter them. But you shall rejoice in the Lord, and glory in the Holy One of Israel. The afflicted and the needy seek water in vain. Their tongues are parched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open up rivers on the bare heights and fountains in the broad valleys. I will turn the desert into a marshland and the dry ground into springs of water. I will plant in the desert the cedar the acacia, myrtle, and olive. I will set in the wasteland the cypress together with the plane tree and the pine, that all may see and know, observe and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this. The Holy One of Israel has created it. The word of the Lord. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. The Lord is good to all, 
and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let them make known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Alleluia, alleluia. Let the clouds rain down the just one and the earth bring forth a savior. Alleluia, alleluia. be with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Jesus said to the crowds amen I say to you among those born of women there has been none greater than John the Baptist yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force. All the prophets and the law prophesied up to the time of John, and if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah, the one who is to come. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. In the crisis facing our environment, especially in the western part of our country, many folks have come to appreciate a commodity we have long taken for granted, water. Barbara Brown Taylor writes of her new appreciation of water when she and her husband moved to a small town in northern Georgia. And this is from her memoir, Leaving Church. The earth has granted me a lifetime by letting me siphon off some of the water that was on its way somewhere else. Because of me, there would be less water flowing into the Chattahoochee River, less for the speckled trout, less for the wood ducks, less for the mountain laurel that drop their white petals into the river every fall. There would be more water flowing into my septic tank, laced with laundry detergent, dish soap, and human waste. At that moment of high awareness, I promised the land that I would go easy on the water. I would remember where it came from. I would remain grateful for the sacrifice. In light of our many concerns of, about the environment, the second part of our reading today from the prophet Isaiah is especially striking. Those who listened to Isaiah understood immediately the sacredness of this precious gift in their own desert experiences. Every form of life depends on water to nurture and sustain it. Water transforms wastelands into forests and barren stretches into gardens. As, they, as Isaiah writes, in such transformation, is the hand of God. And so may this Advent bring us to a new appreciation of water and the earth God has entrusted to all of us. And may we learn from water's generosity how to make the deserts of our own life bloom.
now lift up to the Lord our many needs and concerns. We ask that those who are watching us online to please submit your intentions and we will pray with you as we respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who serve the church, may God infuse them with joy and wisdom as they preach the word of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the Spirit inspire them in their decision-making to protect and preserve God's creatures. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those experiencing physical illness or emotional distress, may God provide consolation and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of this community of faith, may the Holy Spirit inspire us in spreading hope amid darkness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may God welcome them into his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Colonel Arthur J. Gallo, Sr., for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or for whom do we pray today? Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of St. Juan Diego, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all that we do. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you forever. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O Lord, you are indeed holy, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given you thanks. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, your people spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Martyrs, Saint Juan Diego, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray the words that Jesus himself once prayed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may always be free from sin and safe from all anxiety and distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith and courage of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God,
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of St. Juan Diego, sanctify our minds and hearts, that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature through Christ our Lord. Amen. A few announcements to make at this time. Uh, uh, next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week, uh, I will not be here. We will have uh, communion services in lieu of morning mass. Uh, and unfortunately, those uh, communion services will not be televised. Next Tuesday, I'm sorry, let's start with uh, Saturday. Saturday is the beginning of our special year of the Eucharist exhibition that will be taking place in the Parish Center. That starts on Saturday and runs until the following Sunday, December 19th. On Tuesday of next week, Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament will take place in the conference room of the Parish Center. Um, next Thursday, uh, I will be offering extended hours for the Sacrament of Reconciliation for the season of Advent. And so reconciliation will take place following morning Mass until 12 noon, and then later in the day from 5 p.m. until 7 p.m. here in the church. So uh, look at the newest flock note that will come out tomorrow, and I hope to remember to put that all in there. <laughs> the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a nice day, everybody.